The Sony SRG A12 and SRG A40 PTC cameras, they are advanced remote controlled cameras equipped with Sony's innovative PTC auto framing technology powered by built-in AI analytics. This technology allows these cameras to automatically track and frame a presenter subject within the camera's view and follow that movement, of course. The cameras have features like a wide angle zoom lens, integrated tele lamp, and the ability to store up to 256 preset positions. The SRG A12 and A40 cameras, they deliver the flexibility and professional grade results you expect. And honestly, 256 preset? How will you even take advantage of that without a Skahoy controller? where you can label these presets. The SRG A12 offers 12 times optical zoom, while the A40 supports up to 40 times zoom, making these quite versatile for various shooting scenarios. And both cameras, they can be seamlessly controlled via IP using a Skahoy controller, which offers precise pan, tilt, and zoom adjustments, and plenty of other settings you can adjust on it. Let's get right into that. The web UI you see here is called Reactor, and that is coming straight out of this. No computer is necessary for the PTC Extreme to control these two cameras, or even any other cameras and devices. So that one talks straight to these, and that's the UI you see of it. And the first thing we want to do is to search these devices up on the network so we can add them. And I think we'll do well in just filtering the results here. SRG A12 right there. So we'll just add that as camera number one. We need to type in a username and a password as well. And the second camera we will now add would be A12. And for that one as well, we need to also type in a username and password. The IP address is already picked up by auto discovery. That's pretty neat. Now, these two cameras also need to be added over here on my camera selector on the PTC Extreme. And now you see the result of this little action because now these cameras can be selected on the camera selector on PTC Extreme. I also just mentioned that in terms of presets, these cameras having apparently a preset here. Okay, we had one preset, I can store another one. So let's just do that, press and hold. It's now going green. We can go between these two presets and we had that 256 presets for these cameras. The cool thing is in Reactor, you can label these presets. So we use the OLED displays above the buttons to give names to the presets. And that will make you able to actually enjoy those 256 presets because how would you otherwise remember what they are pointing to? So in this table, you can just scroll to the side and you can name the preset of this first camera. So let's just type in home as the label of the first one. And you see that is immediately shown in the display. That's a little bit side tracking the main attraction of these cameras, which is the auto tracking capabilities we talked about. They are having the same zoom uh, basic. No, wait, they are actually different on the optics inside, but the camera tracking is the same on these two cameras. And um, we'll just look at that a little bit now. This is the web UI of the A12. And uh, you see there's first of all this nice feed. You can also start the PDC auto tracking uh, feature on it and you can adjust the framing before you do so. So there's a number of things that you can do in this UI. And I want to quickly just take you through what exists here. First of all, you can kind of choose your main cropping. That would be give me a close up, give me a waist shot, give me a full body shot. But even within each, each of these, you can decide a little bit about how should the framing then be of this main cropping. You can also kind of fine tune the size a little bit of a full body adjustment. Or, um, and then you can also decide whether you want the presenter on the left or the right and so on. And these settings we can do on the PDC Extreme. So that's like uh, uh, crop, uh, sorry, uh, framing the subjects. In the initial setup, um, no wait, that's actually in the de detection settings, there's another very important thing because maybe when you turn this on, if you want it to automatically pick up the, the subject you want to track, if that's um, very easy to figure out for the system, you would enable automatic target selection. Otherwise, 
the, the camera will give you an option of simply picking which of multiple persons on stage that you want to track. So you can kind of uh, limit an area of uh, focus here from the starting position of the camera. Now, on the PDC Extreme, we have uh, multiple menus, and this is absolutely standard issue Skahoi way of doing things. In the home menu, you can you can also change this. You can configure it yourself for your liking. But you have white balance settings, etc., which you will also find on the color. So basically, on the home menu, we have taken the most typical things that you want to adjust or use. Um, in the exposure settings, you can adjust um, exposure. And in this case, maybe we uh, wanted to go to, uh, let me see, maybe we do manual exposure here and we'll uh, do some adjustments to, um, in this case, iris. No, let's just set it. Okay, like that. So just to give you this idea that on Skyhoy controllers, you have a ton of settings that you can adjust from the controller all broken out onto easily accessible encoder knobs here. One of those is the tracking menu. And in the tracking menu, we see a reflection of many of the things we have just seen. Now, I would be excited about getting started on tracking. So basically, I just want to turn it on and then let the camera do its magic. So let's just go over to the live view here. So you can see now the camera is zooming into the head of me moving on this slider a little bit away. And um, honestly, I think before we can really enjoy what's happening, I think we need to work a little bit on the actual framing. So now looking here, you can see that we have um, currently selected a waist uh, tracking, but the height is uh, is tricking us basically. Maybe what we want to do is to choose the recommended height, which is number four. That seems to be a pretty good choice for me. Now maybe I want to go back here to the exposure menu and now I could still, no wait, I can actually just do that. So the, the little bit of iris adjustment I can, I can do, uh, go back to uh, auto tracking here. Working a little bit with the size, we're currently centering me, but now I want me very much to the right in the picture. Um, so that's my, my preferred position. Or maybe not that much to the right, so we'll just change that. And then again, the size here is like fine tuning within the waist, cropping, fine tuning what you know, how close or far away you want to be. So probably in the middle here, size two is what you're going for. Now, all these settings are exactly the ones that you can also do in the web UI, but the whole point of having a tactile hardware controller is to do away with the software UIs and having you know people sitting there with the trackpad or whatever and, and maneuvering that. You can combine the two, as you can see, because they are synchronized. So the settings we have for height, size, and the placement is reflected on the controller and vice versa. So uh, you can you know work any place you want essentially. Okay, so we are tracking now with the um, AI engine in, in this uh, camera, the SR, um, uh, the A12 camera is now following me here. So when we started, it was starting from a, like, um, just any position I had put it in with the joystick. So I was just using the joystick. And now, as I'm now doing this, you, uh, yeah, sorry about it. It's really, uh, Messy, but uh, it has been turned off. It's basically turning on PTC auto framing. See, what happens when I turn it on is that it will usually first go to the starting position. And because we had the automatic target selection done, then it will quickly find the subject and it will start doing the tracking according to the settings that we have given it. So setting a starting position is something that we can do. Let's just turn it off again here. So maybe if I want my starting position to be uh, something else, uh, we can... So uh, the starting position should be like covering your stage probably. And now I can set that starting position by just rotating this one. So if I, let's see, uh, zoom in and I just execute this, it will go out to the starting position. That will give you... It's like a preset. It's a preset you set, so the camera will start at this location whenever it starts tracking. So when we now turn tracking on, it goes to the starting position, it is looking for the subject, and then it's finding the subject, it's starting to tracking according to these. So guys, that's what that is, is, is in it, basically. Th these cameras, they have um, proven to be really sophisticated in their tracking algorithm. So we are really excited about being invited into the um, uh, development with Sony on on presenting this on the PC Extreme. Thank you so much, Sony, for for being um, 
are collaborating on this and partnering with us on it. And we're excited about your technology. I think it is um, really impressive how well this is working. And I can see so many use cases in education, in corporate, uh, where this uh, tracking houses of worship, where this tracking would just be a tremendous help. The PDC Extreme is your dream device for managing these cameras because it is so easy to just grab the joystick and do manual override anytime you want and need. You can do that, but you can use the very same device to turn back on your tracking. So thereby you can combine the best of two worlds, that you have that manual ability to do whatever is needed, but also to just kick in the automation anytime you need a break. Thank you for watching along. Please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You won't regret it. And follow us on social media. Subscribe to our newsletter for updates. You can also find links in the description below to all of these resources. And anytime you wish to interact with us, feel free to reach out to our non-AI sales and support team. They are real passionate human beings and they love to help you.